Hello everyone! Welcome to Tea and Gemstones. I'm your host, Jen. This is a fun podcast for talking about cultural trends and the history of all things sparkly. So let's jump in. Today I am launching a feature I am calling Jewelry You Should Know About. I am going to highlight a designer or a shop that you may not know was out there in the world. For this maiden exploration, I wanted to feature a shop close to my heart, the Golden Bear. So what makes the Golden Bear so special and unique, in my opinion, is they have an iconic motif, which is a semi-abstract image of a bear. Set in profile upon all fours, a gentle sloping line from nose to tail, kind of like the fin of a classic sports car. It is an incredibly distinctive shape done by no one else in this style. And the Golden Bear takes this bear design and they have built an entire repertoire, legacy, plethora of items all based around this design. Per the Golden Bear website, our distinctive little Bruin was recognized as the symbol of the Vale Valley. Visitors from all over the world take home our Golden Bear as an endearing reminder of our beautiful Alpine village. End quote. So each Golden Bear is created through the ancient process of lost wax casting. Lost wax casting is a way old school way to make jewelry, just about the oldest there is. The oldest known example of lost wax casting ever found is over 6,000 years old. Here's the Cliff Notes version of how that works in today's time. So a wax model is carved and then covered in a plastic mold. The wax is melted and the space that is now empty is filled with a molten precious metal, usually gold or silver. When the plastic mold is removed, the precious metal piece is revealed and hand polished. For 45 years, the Golden Bear has used the lost wax method as the execution of their designs. Designs that creatively interpreted their iconic bear symbol into countless ornamental motifs. Picture this. A cluster of hollow silver bear outlines form a pendant. From the distance appearing as lace work, their true individual silhouettes are a treat given to those allowed close to the wearer's chest. Bears adorn rings, beautiful gold bands cut both slim and wide. Minuscule gold ear studs come in graduating sizes titled baby, petite, and tiny. Tiny is only an eighth of an inch wide, and they can glint beautifully on your earlobes. The bears can be covered in pave diamonds, black or pure white, or sapphires. They can be cut into reliefs on smooth bangles, or they can dangle from little huggy hoop earrings. One highlight of the golden bear for me is their broad use of mixing metals in one jewelry piece. I am forever campaigning for more mixed metal jewelry to exist in the world. That is using yellow, silver, rose, and black metals all together. The Golden Bear does metal mixing expertly. They have more two-tone jewelry pieces than I have ever seen available in any store. One oft-used style is to apply 14 karat gold yellow bears onto sterling silver designs, and that really makes the color contrast pop and the bear stands out. I love how they also incorporate oxidized sterling silver into their pieces. When it's oxidized, it turns this deep black color. This is a more unusual metal choice, but the beautiful bears in bright yellow or white gold really shine against a black background. But the most iconic and classic jewelry collection and their first one they ever made is called the Mama Bear Necklace. Full disclosure, I received a 14 karat gold one as my push present when I gave birth to my daughter. So this necklace features the bear design at the end of a 28 inch continuous chain. 
There is no clasp, no latch. It's just a smooth, never-ending, delicate chain. I love, love, love this. I hate when my necklaces get turned around and the clasp is showing in the front. I don't know about y'all, but when I was in high school, if you ever saw someone's necklace with the clasp showing, you went up to them and said, someone is thinking about you and pointed it out to them. I remember my friend Tiffy doing that to me all the time, but that never happens with the mama bear necklace. It is always perfect. The necklaces bear can be done in so many different ways. They have all the precious metals, of course, but they also have stone versions in black onyx, turquoise, mother of pearl, and lapis. You can even get versions covered in diamonds. It is a classic piece of jewelry available in so many different versions that you feel like you belong to the tribe and you're still getting this getting this classic piece, but you can exercise some individual personalization and your own choice too. When you receive your mama bear necklace, there is a card enclosed with the packaging that tells you that your bear should be worn pointing to your heart. Oh, I really admire the way the golden bear has this core identity to their brand since they were founded in 1975, but they have never, ever let it go stale. They keep reinventing new ways to use their bear design that continue to feel so fresh and so creative, yet somehow instantly like classic. They have a great catalog. They send out multiple times a year. Whenever I get mine, I save it to read leisurely after my daughter goes to bed. Sometimes it's almost like a mini art exhibition between the pages. The Golden Bear is on Instagram at the Golden Bear Vale. And they have a great website, thegoldenbear.com, where you can browse. And if you scroll to the bottom, you can request one of their amazing catalogs. I thought the Golden Bear flies under a lot of people's jewelry store radars. I hope you've had your interest peaked and you will check them out. I also hope the Golden Bear doesn't mind being my first Juska jewelry you should know about. I'm I want Jiska to be an acronym that catches on people sharing fun designs and stores other people might not know about. If you have an idea for a future Jiska, please message me on Instagram at T and gemstones. That's all for this episode. Please check out our show notes for the link to our blog for a transcript of today's show and the bibliography notes. Our theme song is Sunrise Expedition by Joseph McDade. Okay, everyone. Till next time. Stay sparkly.